Hello! I'd like to buy some blacksmith equipment. You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. And that's true. Here, take three portions. For the honor of magic. I want to acquire magic writings. For the honor of magic. Could you teach me the third circle? The third circle of magic is one of the most important steps in the life of a magician. Once you've reached it, you'll cease to be a seeker. You have already come far on the path of magic. You have learned to use the runes. This knowledge is the foundation for your further path. Use the runes with deliberation. You may use a rune or not but you must decide on one of these possibilities. Do not hesitate to use your powers as soon as you've made your choice. Understand your path, then you'll recognize the power of the decision. I am ready to enter the fourth circle. You have completed the first three circles. Now is the time for you to learn the secrets of magic. The magic of the runes is based on the stone. They are magic stones created out of magic ore. It's the same ore which is collected in the mines. This ore is endowed with magic formulas in the temples. There the runes are converted to the instruments of our power. With the runes you control now, you have the entire knowledge of the temples of the realm at your fingertips. You have now learned everything I can teach you. Understand the magic. Then you'll discover the secret of power. For the honor of magic!
Hello, friend. I could do with a few things. I could sell you a few things. Hello? I need better armor. You can have it when you're ready for it. And only if you have enough ore. I want a heavy guard's armor. Only the upper class of guards can have one of them. And I'm afraid it's going to be a long time before you make it that far. I'll see ya. For the honor of magic. I found a focus under the ring of stone. Brilliant. Now we have all five focus stones. Your deeds are invaluable to our camp. Be assured of my eternal gratitude. Go to Riordian now. He'll give you something for your immense efforts. Speak to Kronos, the keeper of the ore as well. He'll give you another gift from our community. Can you blast the ore mound now? We now have all the artifacts we need to fulfill our plan. But the barrier was created by 12 magicians. There are not enough magicians in the circle of water to control the powerful energies and to guide them onto the right course. What can we do? I'm aware that you've already done much for our community. We owe you greatly. But in the interest of all the inhabitants of the colony, I need to ask one more favor of you. One more favor? Yes. Go to the old camp and try to win some of the Magicians of the Circle of Fire for our cause. Magicians of Fire? Why should they want to give up their easy life? The destruction of the barrier would rob them of their powerful position. That is the exact reason why you must accomplish this mission. You know people from all the camps of the colony. Remind the Magicians of Fire of the old times, when we studied the arts of magic together. All right then, I'll try to convince the Magicians of Fire, but I can't promise anything. It seems nearly impossible to me. You must try. If you do not succeed in this, there is only one other, just one. One what? Forget it. You must succeed. Here, take this magic rune. Hand it over to Coristo, the High Magician of the Circle of Fire, as a sign of our trust. With this, he can teleport into this room without passing the guards anytime he wants. I hope that it will convince our former friends of our good intentions. May you return in one piece? Greetings. Satyrus said you had a reward for me? Ah, come here, come here. Our spiritual leader has told me about your heroic deeds. All the people in the camp, no, the whole colony, are deeply indebted to you. Take this as a modest reward for all your efforts. Greetings! It was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. You lie on somebody and you're in trouble. Well, there was a time when things would have gone very differently. Same old story. Stop me. 
on something else instead. Hang on. Hello. Go rushing into anything. Hello. Do you trade in anything else? I buy furs and skins from the hunters. If you get something like that, I'll buy it. Hello. Satyrus said you had a reward for me. As the keeper of the ore, I'd like to give you a small portion of our ore for your great deeds on behalf of the camp. I hope you'll make as good use of it as we do. I want to acquire magic writings. I need a few things. Somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Awaken! Show me your goods. As you wish. Awaken! Show me your goods. As you wish.
Hello? Show me your goods. Choose something. Let's make a deal. What do you want? There was a time when I led a very different life. I was one of the best generals of this country. I've spent my whole life fighting for my country. But the nobles didn't like me because the king listened to my advice and they knew I posed a threat to their dirty business. I hadn't counted on their insidiousness. They used the king's wife to get me. I was blamed for her pointless murder. King Robar had no other choice. The services I had rendered my country saved me from the gallows, but they robbed me of my freedom. One day I'll be free again, then I shall return and take revenge. I shall have my revenge. somebody
ain't no sweat man, come over here. You okay? I'm hiding away here. I don't care for the trash those guards are pulling off. But I've taken some pretty good stuff from the arsenal. If you need a weapon, just let me know. Will you train me? If you have enough ore, I'll teach you how to use a crossbow. Just pay me 200 ore. Can you teach me to fight? I only train guards. So until Thoris has made you one, you'll have to find someone else. Show me what you have. Show me your goods.
They... They are all dead, all dead. I couldn't help them. I was... was not there. I... Calm down, Milton. What happened? They killed the magicians of fire. All of them, apart from me. And I was close to death as well. You'd better tell me the whole story from the beginning. One thing after the other. Okay, keep cool, Milton. Keep cool. It all started with the old mine caving in. The old mine caved in? Yes. It all happened very fast. Nobody in the mine made it out. The guards blocked the entrance to the mine. See you later. Hello. I met Gorn. Really? Where? By the old ruined monastery by the sea. The two of us searched it for treasures. I'm sure he'll tell me all about it when we meet again. Lester and I took out the mountain fort. He told me about it. Apparently, you can be trusted. Where have the four of you been meeting so far? Oh, here and there. We meet in a lot of different places. What was that you said about the Magicians of Fire? I only know that they were killed by the Ore Baron shortly after the mine caved in. When I returned from our adventure under the Ring of Stone, the guards at the gate suddenly attacked me. They shouted words like traitor and collaborator at me. I had a very narrow escape. How could the mine cave in? I have no idea. Some of the diggers who were waiting in front of the entrance said something about a massive earthquake and a huge cloud of dust coming from the tunnel. Were you there? Yes, that's where I learned about the cave-in. Why would the ore barons want to kill the magicians? It doesn't make sense. That's right. The guards just didn't give me any opportunity to ask. They drew their swords immediately. Perhaps Diego knows more. He was in the camp when things got worse. You should hide. Far away from here. No. Diego and I agreed to keep an eye on the two gates and to warn our unsuspecting friends from the other camps. Please talk to Diego. Where can I find Diego? He's hiding on the other side of the old camp, near the back gate. Please talk to him. See you later.
be quiet. Hello, Diego. I've already talked to Milton on the other side of the camp. Okay, so you already know what happened. But did you also hear about the planned raid on the free mine? Take care. Hello? A raid on the free mine? That's a long story. Just tell me about it. It's not the first long story I've had to listen to. Well then, luckily I was in the Ore Baron's house when they got the news that the mine had collapsed. Gomez was hopping mad when he heard about the accident, and he was afraid that his position could be at stake. Of course. Who controls the ore controls the colony as well. That's right. Since he has no source of income anymore, the goods from the outside world won't come in anymore either. Nobody will work for him if he doesn't get another source of income soon. And that's the reason for the raid on the free mine? To be honest, that's Gomez's only chance to maintain his power. Two hours ago, two dozen guards set out for the free mine. That's mad. I need to warn the new camp. Then you must hurry up. They'll have almost reached the free mine. But they never get through the fortifications of the new camp. They don't need to get through them. A few months ago they found a path that leads over the mountains and right to the free mine, and nobody else knows about it. How could the old mine cave in? One of the diggers who survived it told us that they were digging, and they hit an underground river on the bottom level. When the water gushed into the mine, one of the supports broke, and the entire upper section collapsed. Only a handful of people managed to escape from the mine. But what happened to the fire mages? Cristo and the other mages were the only people in the camp to remain rational. They forbade the raid, and demanded a settlement with the two other camps. They forbade Gomez to raid the free mine? Well, yes. Caristo and the others shouldn't have been so self-confident. Gomez didn't trust them anymore, and had them perfidiously assassinated. What are you and Milton going to do now? We'll stay here for a while to warn some more friends so they don't bump straight into the guards. But you could do us a favor. Consider it done. Tell me what you want. Look out for Lester and Gorn. They need to know what happened here. Tell them that the four of us will meet at the same place as always. If I see them before you do, I'll warn them and send them to your meeting point. Thanks, my friend. You really seem to be an all right guy. Go now. We'll meet again later. I've seen the guards in front of the locked gates. Stay away from them. They'll attack anybody approaching the camp. They are afraid of somebody avenging the raid on the free mine. Take care.